Now, once before in one of the InDesign tutorials, I showed you how to do some basic reverse type. Reverse type is like white type in a black box or purple type in a red box. So I wanna show you that on an actual ad. I'm gonna to go to open. Here in chapter five, I will go to folder 11. And I have this InDesign file where I'm kind of mimicking the look of this little tiny section from a magazine spread. Okay, so what I'm really concerned with is just this bar across the top, best standard Harley Davidson. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna draw this red square first. So I'm gonna zoom in real close like that. I'll come in with a rectangle tool because I'm just drawing a shape for color. And I'm gonna start here and just click and drag. I want a box right about there, okay? I don't need an outline, so I'm gonna click this curved arrow. We'll switch it to a fill. And the stroke is what kind of killed it. It kind of pushed the edges in. So let's fill it with red. And with my black arrow, I'll just pull these corners back out a little more right here. Go about that big right there. All right. I'm going to click outside. Now switch to my type tool. I'm going to just going to click and drag. I don't want to be right on the edge because notice how the type tool has a box around it. But if I hover over a shape, that little box turns into a circle. So if I were to click on this red shape, I'm basically accidentally telling uh, InDesign, turn this into a text frame. Okay, I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna start over here and just drag a little box like that with my black arrow. Now I'm gonna line up the box right there and pull the corner out. Pull my space bar and we'll pull this way out. So let's just hit the edge and just kinda nudge it back across the screen here. There we go. I want it to go that far. Okay, I'll hold my space bar and come back over here and make sure everything lines up at the bottom. Yeah, I was a little bit off, so let's pull that back up. All right, great. Take my type tool, click, and notice how it starts right against the edge of the red. Type comes in from the upper left corner. So I'm gonna type in best standard Okay, let's zoom out. I'll hit command and minus a couple of times here so I can read all that. Best standard, so let me highlight the words best standard. And in fact, I don't wanna change the font yet. I'm gonna put all my type in here. Best standard, I'm just gonna keep typing. Turn on my caps lock, Harley-Davidson space X are 1200. All right, now I'm gonna do my text editing. So I'm really concerned with the words best standard. I'm gonna highlight best standard and I'm gonna hit command T for my character panel and I'm gonna set this to Arial. I can highlight the name and type A-R-I for all the fonts that start with A-R-I. And we'll go Arial Regular, okay? I want this type to be a little bigger, so I'm gonna highlight that and hit the up arrow. Maybe go with a 15 point. But I want my type to sit from top to bottom, rest in the middle, so I'm gonna highlight all of my text. Object menu, text frame options, and I'm gonna align it to the center of the box from top to bottom, okay? Now let's see what this looks like. Best standard has the same spacing. It is about the same size as what I'm trying to match here, which is good for me, but it rests on the edge of the box. Their word starts right here. So what I can do is highlight all my text, whoops. That went right off the screen, so let me come back here. Uh, there we go. All right, let's do this just with the black arrow. Click and drag and hit the box, and now I'm gonna go to Object, Text Frame Options, and it also has an option called Inset. 
push my type in from the edges of the box. Well, I don't want to push it around all the edges because I already did it from top to bottom. So I will unlock this. And without ever selecting my type, I just selected the box with the black arrow. I can do left side inset. So when I hit the up arrow, push the type in just from the left edge. I love that. I'll click OK. OK, now what I'm going to do is go over here and let's highlight the words best standard. Let's see if 16 point will work a little better. There we go. I can see the word best pretty much matches right there. I'm a little bit off on the word standard. So with the whole words best standard, I'm just going to highlight my horizontal scale. But, you know, instead of horizontally stretching my type, let's go with tracking. I'm going to hit the up arrow. There we go. Just add a tiny bit of space between all my letters. Click outside and look at that. The B lines up with the B. The D lines up with the D. It's close enough for my standards. No pun intended. Okay, now I'm going to highlight right here between the D and the H, and I'll hit the space bar. Highlight the words Harley Davidson XR1200. And I'm going to change that font to Arial Black. So instead of scrolling way, way, way up this list, I'm just going to highlight the name and type A-R-I again. Arial Black. There we go. Make that font a lot bigger so it kind of matches the size. And let's zoom out so I can see how long that is. There we go. Highlight the words Harley Davidson XR1200. This is definitely stretched, so now I can go to the horizontal scale and start hitting the up arrow and stretch that out to about 120. All right, cool. Best standard Harley Davidson. Well, this is in a black box. Okay, so what I can do is click on that with the black arrow, go to my swatches. I'm on the fill, so I'm going to click on formatting effects, the container, the box, and I'll fill it black. I'm going to click on T for type. And first, I'm just going to fill all my type paper. Fill it all white. Okay. Now I can take the type tool, highlight the words Harley Davidson XR1200. I don't have gold, so I'll go to my color panel, click the pop up for CMYK, and I will mix my own shade of gold right there. Now I click outside, and there we go. W for preview. I can turn off the template. And look how clean that is. There we go. Reverse type here in InDesign.